Hey everybody, welcome to the Night Acres. Uh, today is a is a new day, I guess. Um, it's butcher day. We raised some uh, quail. We hatched some quail, what, four, well, two months ago. Yeah, uh, the 18th, ago. 18th of May. Is that, that right? That's pretty close. I think so. Um, you know, so we're, we're rolling in on two months. They're fully mature at eight weeks, so we've already have some laying eggs. Uh, so it's time to, to butcher. That's what these animals were bred for. Um, you know, we have our breeders, we gather eggs every day and we decided to try to hatch them. So we, we got them hatched out, we raised them up and that's their purpose is for meat. Uh, we're not going to show you the dispatch, you know, because YouTube policies and all that good stuff. But, uh, yeah, once we get them dispatched, we'll start walking you through what we're doing. So this is the first time in a long time that I've butchered a quail. So I'll probably screw it up. Um, I've never butchered a quail. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hang out and we'll be right back. Everybody, we're back. Um, we had to, we had to dispatch 18 birds. Uh, we didn't want to do it just because of YouTube standards, all that to show you how. But you can, it's pretty simple to dispatch them. Um, it may sound barbaric, but it's a way of life, in the, especially in this lifestyle. You're raising your own food. Um, what I did, I, I just pulled their heads off, threw them in a bag, and let them bleed out. Uh, my wife, she um, cut their heads off with scissors. I mean, either way, it works great. You know, but but we're gonna kick this off. We've got uh, we've got our pot of water going. We're going to defeather some, and we're going to just actually skin some. The target temperature we're looking for in the water to defeather them without cooking the bird is about 160 degrees, and we're about right there. So we're going to just run through, try this out. I've never done it this way. Uh, you know, usually game birds, we'll just pull the breast and call it good. But we're going to try to salvage these because these are, you know, these are good sized birds. You know, so we're going to give it a shot. So what we're going to do, hold them by the nasty feet because they are nasty birds. Um, for about 30 seconds. You can also test them if the, the leg skin, um, if you can pinch it and it comes off a little bit, then they're good to go. You know, we're obviously not using this water to cook in or anything like that. No, this, this is, is just, just for uh, defeathering. Just, just for defeathering, yeah. So it's called scorching. Um, we do this with chickens to keep the skin on, and who doesn't love fried up crispy chicken skin? Mm -hmm. you know? So we're gonna try it with uh, with quail. All right, that should probably do it. We'll test it out. Yeah, just coming right off. Yeah, coming right off. And, you know, really simple, really easy. We're not, yes, it's kind of warm. I mean, it's not terribly hot. I mean, obviously, I'm not jerking my fingers back. Yes, he's just, he's really just rubbing. That's all I'm doing is just rubbing this stuff it's off. It's not really even pulling. You know, I mean, all the pin feathers and stuff fall right out. You know, some people... Uh, keep the wings. Um, I've never really done that because there's, if you look, there's not a lot of wing or, or meat on there. Yes, it's not like a chicken wing. No, <laughs> there's but, barely any meat on a chicken wing. Right. I mean, you gotta see how easy this is coming off. I mean, it's pretty, pretty easy. And like, you know, the pin feathers are are a little, a uh, little harder to get out. Just a slight little tug. You're not. You're not jerking the skin out or anything like that. Um, you could even take the uh, kitchen shears and just cut those, um, cut the wings off. Yeah, and that's what I, I plan on doing. They're just um, going to burn when you cook them anyway. Yeah. But we want to get the back. See, I mean, I'm not, I'm just barely putting any pressure down. So real simple, real easy. You 
Now what we're going to do, we'll find that joint and get some feathers cleared out around it. Really, it's just like butchering a small chicken. I mean, pretty simplistic. The feathers are on the wings, obviously, are a little bit harder to, to remove. If you're going to cut them off, don't even waste your time. Right, that's why I'm not even messing with them. So, tail feathers, they're, they're about the same. These slight little tug. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, real simple, real easy. You take your kitchen shears, you know, you clip the skin, you go right up to that joint. It comes right off. There we go. And then the the feet, we're, we'll cut them off right at the right at that that knuckle. Yep, right at the knee. The knee, or whatever you want to call it. My, my paper's all wet, but real short, real simple, real easy. Doesn't take long. And like I said in the past, we have used nothing but deboning the breast. I mean, you can. You could go in there, pull the breast out, pull the legs off. And the legs are about like a small chicken wing. So I would like to try to cook some whole, like a little Cornish hen. Yeah, we're going to go in here around the cloaca. You go right up the back on one side, right? Oh, she had some eggs in there. <laughs> in case you didn't know, birds um, have all the eggs that they're ever going to lay. They're already within their body. So, so it's kind of like the you'll see the, the full circle of the egg. And you just spread her open. You tear that meat off, tear your spine out, and this is kind of a spatchcock. And then all the all the innards the innards come out. You can see the heart. I mean some people save the hearts and Yeah, you can save hearts and livers if livers you livers and parts of the lungs and all that. And eventually we'll we'll come back through here and clean them up real good before we store them. But yeah, that's it. Real short, simple, and sweet. Just takes a couple minutes. We'll throw them in our our our, uh, our bowl. And we'll just keep going. We're gonna do a few like this, and then when we come back, we're gonna try to do some skinless types. So hang out, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back again, and this time we're gonna show you how to just skin it. That is significantly faster. So. All you do, you just tear the skin open like that, and it just peels right off. Get them flipped over. Actually, I think this is a female. Get 
me just peel all this off. As you can see, I'm almost done already. I'm just going to pull this down below where I'm going to cut off the foot. And then we're going to cut the wings off. Cut these feet off. And then I'm going to uh, spatchcock it just like we did with the with the ones that we took the feathers off of. So I'm going to go down the spine. I had one a second ago. I actually cracked an egg inside of it. See, that's those are the those would have been eggs right there. Yep. They were in formation. We're just cutting the spine out. And then we're just going to pull all this out. See all those guys? All those would have been eggs. Mm -hmm. Just get in here and pull all this out. If I can. <laughs> now all right and then I just took my scissors and I just cut all this skin back right here We'll just cut all this off. There you go. We'll get it rinsed off, and I think we got one more, and we'll be done. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys. Well, guys, that's it. We hope you learned something. We hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, it may seem kind of barbaric, you know, to the the common people. Um, but this is a way of life, you know, when you're homesteading, uh, you're raising your own food. You know where it comes from, um, and those bugs are loud. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, with 18 birds, you know, we have probably enough for three meals. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, it could be a challenge, but sometimes it's rewarding, too. You know, even usually even the challenges are rewarding because you learn something from them. Um, you got anything else you want to add? Um, I don't think so. Let us know um, if you'd like to see a video of us cooking them. Yeah. And we can make a video doing that. And we'll do kind of a taste test of skin on, skin off, and see which one we like better. Because skin off was obviously way easier to um, to clean than, you know, dunking them and taking the feathers off and everything. So... Um, we will see. Okay. With that being said, guys, we appreciate it if you would uh, like and subscribe. Shoot some comments down there. Uh, share with your friends if you want to see people that are interested in this. Uh, personally, I'm kind of been thinking about, you know, here we are mid-July, and we are about a month and a half out from hunting season. And that's part of homesteading as well, providing for yourself. So yep. uh, we're a little ways down the road yet, but it's going to be here before we know it. So hopefully uh, we'll get some videos of that too. Uh with that being said, guys, thanks for hanging out, and we'll catch you next episode. Bye.